Hi everyone, welcome to Jira How To series where we are having a look on the most commonly asked questions about Jira. I'm Nikki from JEXA and today we will have a look on how you can create or enable backlog in your Jira. So in Jira there are two types of projects, a team managed project and company managed project. And depending on which project you are using, there are different ways to switch on and off the backlog. So you can see that I'm in a team managed project. You can see it on the bottom over here. So if you are in team managed project, you need to be a project admin. And if you would like to switch on the backlog and see it here under the planning category in your menu, you need to go to a project settings and then to features. And here you have a set of features that you can switch on or off for your team managed project. And one of them is a backlog. So you just toggle it on. And then you can go back to your project and you will already see a backlog over here. So the way the backlog is structured in the team managed project is that on the top, you can see a board. So these are all the issues uh, in any status that are visible on the board. And if you scroll down, you see a backlog section over here. So if you drag and drop issue from a board to a backlog, then issue won't be visible on the board anymore so you wouldn't be able to find it here but it will be here on the backlog in that bottom section so uh, that's quite a difference from the company managed project so it doesn't matter in what status your issue is if it's in a backlog it won't be is visible on your board there is also this epic panel that you can switch on and off if you're using epics then it's really handy because you can see the epic details and you can also use this as a filters and you can also drag and drop the issues to assign now, on the other hand, in the company managed project, you can see this is my company managed project over here. You switch on a backlog here in this dot 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 menu, and then you go to board settings. If you go here to the columns, here you can manage uh, your board, create additional columns, and uh, decide what statuses are assigned to what column in your board. And you are also switching the backlog from this view. So you can see here, uh, this prompted if your board is full, you can switch on your Kanban backlog. You can pick up the issues in the certain status. For example, I'm picking a backlog now and you can move them to the Kanban backlog. And you already see that my backlog was switched on so I can find it here. You can move as many uh, statuses to the backlog as you want. So for example, you can have there a backlog or for investigation, for design and so on. You can decide these to be in your Kanban backlog. And then when you go to the backlog, this is how it looks like. So on the top, you have open issues. And then on the bottom, you have all the issues that are in the statuses that are assigned to the backlog. You can again drag and drop in order to uh, move the issues from the backlog uh, here to the open column. Depending on uh, what's, your, what's your board and backlog setup, you can also see the panels on the sides here. So I'm mainly using web versions, so you can see the versions in this view and you can drag and drop to assign the versions, but you could also switch off the epic uh, epics over here too. The way you would do that is again from the board settings and you can switch on this epic panel. And then if you go back to the board, you would see the epics here and you can manage your epics from this view. So there are a few more ways how you can step up your backlog game in Jira. Sometimes people have a lot of issues in their backlogs and it's difficult for them to navigate through your backlog. So you can create a quick filters in your Jira project and you can use these quick filters to, for example, filter all the bugs that you have on the backlogs or all the tech tab or uh, stories and so on. So the way you set up these quick filters, it's from the board settings. And then here is a quick filters option. And here you can create these quick filters. So you give them a name, you give a JQL, which is a Jira search query. Um, so for example, you can say all the issues that are stories or all the issues that are bugs, like I have it here. And then you would be able to use these buttons as a quick filters. One other trick that you can use is to flag your issues on the backlog. So if you, for example, know that your issue is blocked and you cannot pick it up, Instead of just going back and forward every single time you see the issue because you don't know that it's blocked, you can just use this flag icon. So the way you do it is by opening the issue. And here in the actions, you can see add flag. And when you do that, your issue will be flagged 
and then after you refresh the page you would also see that the issue has this kind of like a yellow color on your backlog and it has this tiny flag so you know it's blocked you can also write a comment why is it blocked so you know that uh, when you go back to it next time you know why is it blocked and uh, you can see if it's already unblocked and maybe you can pick it up again and if you find yourself with a backlog that is so large that it's hard to pick up work to work on next you can also have a look on one of our apps foxly which is basically an app for backlog prioritization and it helps you decide on uh, what priorities you should pick up next for your team based on the metrics and the scoring formula that you can set up. Okay, so that's about it for this video about how you can create your backlog in Jira. If you have any questions, don't forget to write a comment on this video and I hope to see you in the next one.